London Olympics were full of special moments. And for those of us living in Wisconsin, we found ourselves cheering on Green Bay native Lauren Sesselman, who helped Canada's women's soccer team win its first medal in Olympic history. Lauren's team defeated France one to nothing in the bronze medal game. And Lauren joins us this morning to talk about this very special and exciting experience. Good morning, Lauren. Morning. First off, I gotta ask you, how are you feeling? I am feeling incredible. I still have to pinch myself every morning when and I wake up. I just cannot imagine that. We have to first talk about this because it's dangling <laughs> right around her neck. You have the bronze medal. Yes. How does it feel having that? It feels absolutely incredible to have achieved this. I couldn't be happier. That is so amazing. Okay, now some people may be wondering, you're from Green Bay. Mm -hmm. Why does she have Canada <laughs> gear on right now? Um, my father actually was born in, in Newfoundland. Okay. And so if your parent or grandparent um, was born in another country, you can play for that country. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. It had to be kind of weird or bittersweet, I guess, playing the U.S. It was it was a great game. Um, I played with a, a couple of the girls and against a couple of girls in the WPS, which is the Women's Pro Soccer League. Okay. Um, so it was great just playing against them. They're an incredible team. So I saw a couple of pictures. You played with Hope Solo. Is yes. That, is that right? Mm -hmm. So after this game, I mean, it was a nail biter. Mm -hmm. We were all glued to our TVs watching this game. What was it like for you guys in the locker room? afterwards we were just we were heartbroken yeah. I mean to have come so close to play in the gold medal match you know what everyone's been working for um, you know we really we, it took a toll on us but you know we knew that we had um, another option to play and for another medal and so we um, put it together and we just went out there and we were ready for the next game so you went on to play France that was your next matchup what was different or I guess what did you guys do mentally and physically to try to prepare for this matchup to get the bronze um, you know we prepared like any other any other game um, we just kind of talked about the game and talked about you know our game plan and what we were gonna do against France they're a really strong side and we just went out there and we capitalized on what we were gonna do and we came out away with victory so cool talk to me about standing up there on the podium, getting your medal. What was going through your head? Talk about the emotions. What was that? What was that day like? It was. It was incredible. Just playing. Um, just being there in Wembley Stadium. There was over ninety thousand people there watching, and so every eye is on you, and you're just like, wow, is this real life? You know, it was just sensational, and I couldn't be happier. We have video of that right there. Are you getting it right there? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like an out-of-body experience is what it had to be. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Did you guys party that night? How did you celebrate? Actually, we did media tell about 3.30 in the morning, then I had to hop on a flight at 4.30. So <laughs> I was a little tired, and I you know, was a little upset that I didn't get to stay for the closing ceremonies and party with the girls. But. All right. So what's next for you? Anything that we should keep? I mean, I'm sure you have a lot of options on the table to sort through, but what would you like to do or what do you hope to do? Um, well, the 2015 um, World Cup is coming up in Canada, okay. so definitely going to be getting ready for that and training. The Olympics are right after that, so I would like to go one more round. Um, trying to figure out my next step on which club team I'll be playing on. Not sure if it will be overseas or in the States. Um, and I also do a little couple fun things on the side um, cool. and we'll be trying my hand at acting a little Woo! Bit. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, my gosh. You and Ryan Lochte play yeah. YouTube together. Oh, yeah. We'll see how that works. All right. Well, Lauren is going to stick around. After the show, we're going to tape another interview that you guys can catch tomorrow morning, same time, same place. Lauren, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me. And we'll be right back.